I'm out tonight looking for California or the United States most venomous scorpion, the Arizona bark scorpion. That's Centroides sculpturatus. I believe that in this population here in California, it's actually introduced. Our first species of scorpion, a little uh, Paravaeus waringi. And back here is a small uh, hairy scorpion, Arizona hairy scorpion. Not very large at all, but it looks like it's ready for a molt because the Targites are separating. I found our target scorpion down there. You can't see it right now, but uh, I have to get through this bush. A lot to walk through, and it's very uh, thorny. I'm gonna tear up all of my clothes here. Oh well, I'll do my best. You can see there's a bark scorpion hanging out right there. It's eating something. There's an adult further back there, but this is a juvenile, presumably invasive to the area. So I'll do my best to just get it in here. That's not gonna work unless I break this first and then I'll do my best to have it drop. There we go. Successfully collected a little bark scorpion. Yeah, the adult I was just talking about is actually right there and they do live up to their name. They're up in this tree. It's very tough to get to them. So I'll do my best to grab that one. I could probably grab it with my tongs because uh, it's an adult so I won't, you know, hurt it. Successfully apprehended this adult Centroides sculpturatus. And by the way, this is the only boothid scorpion that we have in California. Only scorpion that belongs to the family Boothidae. An unexpected rock scorpion here, Smaringrus vaconi. Kind of uh, chilling. This is a male. Uh, these are quite sexually dimorphic. Males have large hands and a thin tail. And off it goes. This is actually kind of a small male. This species gets quite large. This one's not making a very good name for itself. Usually the adult males are quite nice. Maybe not this one then. Bark scorpion right here. Trees, not too far away, but still a bit strange to see it here. Luckily an adult male. You coming with me, buddy? Gravid pervio is wingy and a little Ceridigitus gershi here. Quite a small species. Yep, this is an adult. Arizona hairy scorpion, Hydrura serizinensis. Yep, quite defensive species. And uh, this one isn't even really full grown. It gets quite large. Another bark scorpion, quite far from uh, any trees. Well, relatively. On uh, road gravel instead. And I have to take this one as well. And this is the only scorpion that we have an antivenom for in the United States, if I'm not mistaken. The antivenom is imported from Mexico. I believe it's been imported from there since like 2011. It took a while to get FDA approval. Before, we were administering one that was uh, made in Arizona without FDA approval, just within state borders. Here is a little juvenile Smyrngris vaconi. One of the more orange species that we have here in California. little rattlesnake here on the road. I'm not entirely sure on the species, which is kind of embarrassing. I should know, but um, I'm going to say that this is a western diamondback, I believe. Maybe I'm wrong on that. Oh, yo. Don't come closer, we'll have to go. No, it's going off to the side. I'm gonna have to get off the road now. Now that it's off the road, gotta get off the uh, small median here as a last attempt to avoid getting squashed by a car. I am now in the dune habitats. They're not super high dunes. You can definitely tell the entire area is pretty sandy. I'm in actually a wash right now. But yeah, these are low-lying dunes and there should be a, a rare species of scorpion that lives in here. Hopefully with some luck I'll find it. A black death veining beetle, Cryptoglossa maricata. Not in the same genus as the other death fainting beetles. And not really doing a good job of fainting death, really. Look at this super small scorpion. It uh, it really isn't that big at all. This is a super small periochnus of some sort. And of course, all I've been seeing here are uh, dune scorpions. So I'm going to try to find the adult as elusive as they may be. 
And of course, another species you expect to see here in the dunes is Paravejovis uh, weringi. In the dunes, they have this lighter coloration than they would out in the flats or in the uh, the, the mountains. There's a uh, pallid hairy scorpion right here. And right over there, there's another scorpion. There's another scorpion over there. And one right next to me. I just caught a, uh, a wasp of some sort that was attracted by the black light that I'm shining on it, of course. The hairy scorpion is trying to run from me. There you are. Ah, whatever. I'll let it be. Behold the scorpion that I am looking for. One of the more rare ones, for sure. This is Perioctinus luteolus, presumably. That little disrupted piece of sand uh, that you see was its burrow, but I had to collapse it because this thing was definitely going to run back in. I didn't want to lose it since it's so rare. But there you have it. This is one of California's most elusive scorpions for some reason, I'm not sure why. The rest of the genus, besides the uh, uh, species in this group, tend to be quite straightforward to find. Um, these guys are a strange exception. And of course, these are quite small. Um, I'll put my finger next to it so you can see what the adult size is like. Yes, this is an adult. Sorry, the scorpion decided to run away. Here's my finger next to it. It's stinging the insects that are flying around. Another hairy scorpion. This one is definitely large. There's my hand next to it. Come back. Hold on. Well, all right. I'll let it go. Oh, I just realized. Look, that's the hairy scorpion we were just looking at. Oh, there's another dune scorpion. And then right over here is another hairy scorpion. Walking around. It's about to find its burrow, I think. Or maybe not. This dune scorpion is eating a ground scorpion, Paravehovus weringi. See it in its mouth or its uh, chelicerae. Found another one of these ridiculously small Periorchinus luteolus. And right over here, there's a dune scorpion. Please focus. And right behind me is a desert hairy scorpion. So we found an adult and two juveniles, but here is a subadult luteolus. And this one's in pre molt, so uh, I'll actually have an adult soon, which is quite nice. What do we have here? A dune scorpion hanging out in a bush eating a camel spider. Peculiar sight. Periochnus luteolus down here. And look, the largest one I've seen yet, still super tiny. Very funny little species. One of my favorites, actually, the entire group, the, the little ones in the Borogoensis group. Some of my favorite scorpions in California. If you're wondering what the dune scorpion density is like here, there's one right there. There's a little one right there. There's a little one right there. One right here, an adult right there. And then one over here, here and here. Um, there's one right there, there's one hanging out over there, a little one right here, uh, another adult right there, and another juvenile right there, a sub-adult right there. Yeah, you get the idea. They're pretty much everywhere, dominating the habitat like they do. There's another tiny little luteolus right there. You usually don't see too many juveniles in this uh, group, but I guess I am tonight. Found another luteolus right here. Yeah, these... Like I said, are not very large, and this one's probably like a sub or something like that. I believe it's a female. I don't know. We'll take a look right now. I'm still looking for a male, so that'd be nice. Here, inspect it really quickly. Yeah, this is a female. Yeah, having quite a tough time finding males, but I'll keep looking, I guess. Here's a mating pair of giant hairy scorpions back here, pallid hairy scorpions. I'm not sure if it's gone wrong and one of them is envenomated or if everything's going okay, but I can tell that they're holding hands, so I think they're good. Another adult female here. This is one of the larger ones too. As large as the largest one I'd found. Yeah, still no males. Unfortunate. Little death fanning beetle right here. You can see its antenna are moving around. That's an indicator that it is alive and doing well. I mean, I saw it walking around before I turned my lights on. And now it's fanning death. One more adult female right here of a good size, even though that's still very small. One more little Periochnus luteolus here. It's been like, I don't know, 30-ish minutes since I've seen the last one. So maybe they're all going back into something or I'm in a spot that just doesn't have as good of a density. But anyway, this is the last one I could find and I'm all out of habitat. Well, 
that will be all for this video. So thank you for watching. Come back here.